Friends, let us join together on this second Sunday of Easter in reciting and affirming our faith in the Apostles' Creed, saying together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's now bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, on this, the second Sunday of Easter, the light of your love shines on. Your light has come into the world, and neither darkness nor evil nor even death itself could overcome it. And we, like Mary, like the disciples, like Dowling Thomas, who have been there with you through Holy Week and the first Easter morning, have been made witnesses to the resurrection story wondering, bewildered, hoping, rejoicing, and sometimes doubting. It's not always easy to believe with our minds and trust with our hearts. But loving Christ, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold the work of your redemption. Open our minds and hearts to receive you, Lord, your resurrection glory, your light everlasting. May this time of worship, reflection, and celebration be a worthy response to your love and your sacrifice for us. Together we pray as you taught your disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.